future? Will it inspire the team to realize their dreams through positive, effective action? And more often than not, it is your who best to test it than the people you are working with. If you have trusted stakeholder, you can invite that trusted stakeholder into it. But more often than not, it is your own team that will be doing this. Does it provide a basis for developing the other aspects of your action uh, planning process? Does it describe what your firm will do and why it will do it? Is it concise? You've said that already. Is it outcome oriented? Is it um, measurable? Is it inclusive? One of the fundamental things you need to do here, you are the owner of your business, you are the entrepreneur, and your vision and your mission statement needs consensus. If people buy into something, they will help you to deliver it. And since you cannot be at all the places all the time, you need to get consensus. I had a boss when we were doing our business plan. He knew what he wanted. He had a vision already. In fact, he had discussed it with me, but he carried us all the way to Agna We were there for three days. We thought we were contributing to something. At the end of the day, he brought out what he had. But he made us go through the process. And everybody thought that it was, it was only about three of us who knew that he had a vision statement before we went to Agnes. <laughs> but he did it so well that every part of it, we thought that. So when people were reading the vision and the mission, they could see their inputs in there. And so that is very helpful. If you don't know how to do it, ask, consult. And that is why this process is good. Because the, as you go through the process, you develop the style of getting others to do what? To help. So as you go around, I may suggest things to you that you may At the end of the day, you think that it is your suggestion. But I probably have suggested it to you and you have given it back to me. And but what we're doing that we have built consensus on that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a mission statement. Right, okay. Components. Customers. Who are the firm's customers? So if you're going to be developed, remember we talked about stakeholders. You first need to know who are your customers. And we'll talk about this subsequently. What products or services are you offering? What markets are you operating in? Geographically, where does the firm compete? Technologically, are you on the internet? What's your concern? Is it survival, growth, or profitability? You know, they are different. Each of them. Surviving means that you are here. You don't really care. All you want is tomorrow's meal. I'm talking about the company. Growth is that you've been on two, three years. Now you want to begin to explode. Profitability, you've been around, but you haven't broken even. Or you are just around a breaking even point. But you can be here and here. You know, you can be making profit and will not survive. When we get to the finances, I'm sure he will tell you about cash. And so, one of the things you have to, what types of concern? Survivor, it means you'll be talking about what? Cash flow. As against profitability. Fraud in scope do not include monetary amounts, <coughs> numbers, percentage ratios, objectives. Less than 250 words in length. It should be inspiring. You should identify the utility of a firm's products. 
review that the firm is socially responsible, depending on where you are. So if you're doing share butter, you have to be sure that you are socially. Today, environment is one of the key things. Review that the firm is environmentally responsible. Include nine components, and the nine components are customers, products, and some markets, technology, concern for survival, growth, profit, philosophy, self-concept, concern for public image, concern for employees. It should be reconciliatory. It should be enduring. It should be beyond today. Your mission statement, if you have a mission statement that is dead at the end of the day, then it's not a mission statement. Number seven and number eight in particular. Can yes. you explain it just a When you say reconciliatory, it should be reconciliatory. Okay. A mission statement is to collapse Oh, no, who is your competitor? Ah. <laughs> who is your competitor? <laughs> oh, peso. Okay. Peso. 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 Our mission is that for the next three years, we are looking at collapsing Peso and taking over 20% of the market share. But what will Peso do? Oh. How will Peso do? They will kill you. They will kill you. To finish you. Okay? Oh, and, and it follows from here. You're going to be making profits, aren't you? Yes. Put in your mission statement. We want to make the maximum profit from our customers as possible. <laughs> Never show it to a customer. How <laughs> oh, happy? That is a very nice way of losing all the customers. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Or we aim at conquering the mushroom industry in Greater Accra region by utilizing our staff and paying them as little as possible. Not in so many ways, but mm -hmm. who will you get to come and work for you? In other ways, as much as it should be concrete and action oriented, it should also be considered concrete. In other words, it should be trying to bring others on board. Indeed, even in this room, and probably at the last part of it, when we talk about expansion, we can talk about it. There should be able to be two, three in the same share butter business working together to create the bigger market. And that is higher level of strategy. But that probably will be the last day when we talk about. So if you create a mission statement that I'm sitting here with you and I see you as a threat, I'm mapping up a strategy to counter you. So then all your efforts that you should go into growth will be used at what? Fighting about each, each other. So we have looked at the uh, our mission, our visions, and the, uh, that. So the last one was mission, a vision, our value statement. Now we're getting to the point where we're beginning to make some sense. We, things are beginning to shape up for us. So what we will do is, um, as part of our takeaways, we want each one of us, tomorrow when we are coming here, we would write clearly what our visions are and what our mission statement. So based on the discussions we've had here, that's what you would do. Don't go back, just take what you did for your concept. You are now, you've had new things, there's been discussion and you're beginning to ask yourself questions. So how does that inform you to get this? So what this will do is that it will not clearly identify the nature of your business and then the products and services you provide. And you have to be specific, you know, unless you have a product or services in which case you simply list them. So these are some of the guidelines, but the guidelines are provided in your distance, then your primary customer. This is a short but detailed description of who 
your plant target market is, include specific or specifics about where your customers reside, what they do, why they will purchase your products. Note that market research may force you to redefine your primary customer. So our first exercise here was a simple calculation or determination of what the market size was. It's just to begin to agitate our mind on how to go. Uh, your management team. So you also need to list the following key people in your organization. Do you really do you have a board? Who is the chairman? Who is the president if you use the term? Who is the CEO? Other key management members, governing or advisory bodies, if you are an NGO or the total number of members. So begin to look at that. It's all listed in the worksheet that we have been giving you to go and then uh, look at. Your business location should also look at places like this business headquarters, places where your business would occur, the branches where you want to serve. So take that through and then uh, you, you would. So <coughs> be sure of where your location, your business is located at an ideal place. So sometimes you are doing some business and then the location is really not where it's supposed to be. So you have to consider that. Let's say we want to do, you know, I don't know whether anybody is thinking about that, but I have a crazy business idea to trap See, there are a whole lot of slums around Accra and Ghana. And uh, uh, there's a lot of doom so, doom so. Okay. Now I've been thinking, can we, there's already technology of biogas. Yes. So let's go into these slum areas and then the KVIP, mm -hmm. reconstruct them and then trap them. Whatever it is and produce biogas, get uh, electricity, and feed them into the grid. And I'm told that if in a particular area, if you are able to do that, what it means is that it drops either your tariffs in that area, or they pay you some money or something like that. And it's going on and on. We have a lot of we can't even uh, throw it away. There's no place. Yeah. So why can't we begin to generate this thing? I don't know. I was thinking of trapping the gas and you see, uh, selling it as a, for people to cook. But the question is, as a business, it's a fine idea to trap the gas and sell it to people. But the question is, will people buy because they think that the smell will come into the food? So... If I go, uh -huh. but if I go and locate this my business in airport residential area, am I going to make it? Because everybody has it in his house, so it means that it will be difficult to collect all these things. But if I go into the slum area where they depend on the public thing, it you know it will be easy. Meanwhile, at the same time, I have a problem with my the source of my raw material. There's a, pro a program that is trying to advise government or something like that to ban the construction of public, public toilets. toilets. <laughs> so my business is threatened. <laughs> yes. There are, there are, there are that even private homes can, you know, adapt. Yes. Right. In, in any house that they can just get about five twenty pounds of the raw material, you can create and then we use. Yeah. Okay, so this is so we are looking within this, we're discussing this in the context of location. Where will my business be located? You have to locate it where you can generate. So you look at your raw material consideration, you look at the usage, and how you can, you can, you can do uh, this. Um, give serious consideration to the terms of acquiring. The, 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 the premises. Do, can you really get a place to do your business? You go and you want to acquire a place and then um, the guy is telling you pay so much and you pay only for a year. I remember a friend of mine acquired, went to uh, lease someone's building 
and then they said three years. Na as naive as he was, he sank in so much money, refurbished the place, and then six months to the end of the three years, he receives a letter to uh, eject they ejecting him. For no reason, they just said, we are not going to renew the lease. That is this thing. Fortunately, as this guy was there and the business really were expanding, I said, look, you know what? Contingency plan, move, think of another place. And then he said, okay, we've already spent money here. What can we use here for? You know, so he was beginning to develop another business to use that place for when the ejection notice came. So you will have to look at how to really secure those places. You can secure it without money. Maybe you say, okay, I'm going to take it for 10 years, but I'll break it like that. So that you know that by the 10th year, at least your business would have... Uh, but just as you are taking off, when something like that comes and you have to move, it can be a nightmare for you. Um, so be sure that the landlord has the right to provide the premises. So you need to get your, 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 your uh, lawyer or somebody. This case that I'm saying, it's actually someone's house. Uh, the the parents died, and then uh, bequeathed the, the the house to the kids, and so they had decided how to share the place. This friend did not know that that was the thing. They thought that the person who was renting the place out had was the real owner of the thing, and then rented. And this person took the money, did not give the siblings, and then they came and said, look. We have uh, uh, a stick in this in this thing, so that is how uh, uh, you, uh, or why you need to look at these things. And then you sign relevant documents. You cannot just uh, rent a place and then you don't sign. Most often, sometimes we've done that thing where we've rented places, like uh, a, a, a case somewhere in Abekala Pass. Last week, I was just uh, talking to someone. This man had rented a place. And he's been there for years. Then he decided to also sublet the place to another person. <laughs> now, when he sublet the place to another person, there was he had agreed with this people, but he, there was no agreement between him and the other the, the original landlord. <laughs> so some in the middle, he took I think 15 years rent from this his the sublessee. Then somewhere in the middle of the this the landlord comes and says, Oh, I want my building. Your rent, your your this thing is, is is over. He says no. Ah, but you know I paid for all these places and then you came and took part of the, the, the place. And they are now dragging each other. There was nothing on paper. They didn't agree and put anything on paper. Mm. So make sure that you do the relevant uh, this thing. And you at least invite your lawyer. Invite your lawyer for that. Using your company's uh, description, you would have to uh, 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 begin to look at how you would undertake your, your feasibility of your business concept. And then that would help you bring your company to life and plan on revising or fine tuning your company description as you build your business plan. So, as we are going, we want you to begin to refine your ideas. The, those of us who are in the startup stage, those of us who are in existence, we still need to refine because we just didn't write a business plan for just hanging. We're writing it and looking at the business plan to expand an area to add a product or to undertake some re-engineering within the organization, our packaging and all that. So we need to begin to look at that within the context of this uh, 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 program. So that is um, what we have as a start to developing our business plan, looking at ourselves, looking at our values, looking at the business values, looking at the mission statement, looking at our, our vision, and then seeing how that plays out in developing our business uh, uh, plans. Today we are not doing the interaction a lot because 
maybe this is the first time we've come like this but i'm sure by tomorrow we would have known each other very well and then we will share ideas because it is an idea sharing one person cannot do it all alone business you can't do it all alone you need we all need each other even though we are doing different businesses there are certain parts of our businesses that are, 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 are listen we want to build a community of entrepreneurs the next stage that you will be here the next stage that we would, would, would uh, invite you will be 20, 24th of June around that time we would invite you for a networking session and at that networking session it is most likely that you are going to meet uh, overseas ministers from the UK so it's plus meeting uh, um, what do you call it other business people it is going to be our inaugural networking uh, clinic that's going to be the inaugural networking clinic I like uh, if I come to your business and your business is like this then you don't need us you see if there's no problem to fix in your business then you don't need us. There has to be a problem to fix in your business. That is the type of thing we, we, we need. We don't want, you know, most of you, when we say picture, then people will go and capture some, they will do the thing, then it will look nice. That's not what we are looking for. At, at least now. When I work with you for six months, and I'm coming, or I'm bringing someone, then I want to see your business look like this. But now, this is the first time we are engaging so I assume that we, we, have, we all have problems to fix. You know, so don't, don't feel shy to get the, the, where, the state in which you are. You know, it, it, it's, it's enough. And we would help you. The next phase is going to be on mentors, consultants engaging with you. We sending our team to sit with you, do diagnostics, see the areas that you need, and then making appropriate recommendation and then you come in on that network. That network day will just be some discussion for some 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then talk, talk around. You know, we want to start that culture where that group of people come share the ideas. We present you new thinking, new dimension, market information, and things like that. I, I, I don't know if the question was about the the winners, so the winners will come after 12 months, or they will be selected before the 12 months. Oh, the winner, the, the winner should come over just by the by the end of the month. We should be able to determine who it is. Okay. This month. Yes. This month. Okay. Yes. Because as soon as we finish here, mm -hmm. as soon as we leave here on Sunday. Baba, sorry, this month. Mm -hmm. We are in May. Ah. We are. So June. 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 Oh. Sorry, you see, uh, in, 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 no, 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 no. In Technosef, in Technosef, when we are talking this, but we are talking uh, June. June. <laughs> June. <laughs> June. <laughs> but as soon as we, we leave here on, on Sunday, what we are going to do is that we've already given you the outline of the business plan. We're saying that. This training, this training is to help you begin to go back and write that comprehensive business plan according to the template we've given you, and then you resub, you submit that business plan, which will be evaluated, and then we would, we would evaluate those business plans, and then we we'll take you through the psychometric thing, the psychometric test, and then. Yeah, yeah, it's around the same thing. So, the psychometric, it's a test of personality traits to see where we place you. Yeah, and it's a test, those things, and then it has a, some of these questions, some of them. It has a, well, Ravens, Ravens is a cognitive test. No, and then it has some small, the first test we did. The market thing, okay. those basic things, just to 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 see.
how, you know, it's not an academic test, but basic things, you know, things that you can do, but you, it's only, it needs reasoning, and then it tries to look at where we come, the type of personality you, 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 fit, in, you fit in, you know. So that is uh, what we, we, we want to uh, do, yeah. So, um, I know as part of the process, you are going to um, make us with consultants and mentors. So is this going to be done immediately after this four day session so that we can work with them to submit in June? Or you are going to submit before you are after You are going to submit before we, the, the consultants are after care. After care. After care. This, this uh, period is us. We, our doors are open. If you, we finish with this and you, you, you have any questions to ask, you can call us and ask us. But we encourage you to write your business plans yourself and don't to allow, give it to people. And that's why you do an oral presentation, the executive summary. You do that. You know, and we are going to teach you how to do that pitch. What to say is not everything you, 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 you. Um, three minutes, you should be able to sell the, 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 the idea. If you're not able to tell somebody in three minutes what you want, then forget it. Any questions? Any? Yes. Um. I like the part about um, trying to link us to funding, not necessarily funding from the competition, because I happen to have been in the previous the BBB, Believe Begin Become. The issue was um, some of us did projections for our businesses based on the fact that we're going to get like debt or equity funding. But the hand holding, I think, was very much lacking because after the business plan competition, and those who won seed money or got um, aftercare, there was basically, you were left on your own. I, I could say, at that point, for me, I was really like a startup, fresh. It was just my ideas that I had. It was clear and everything, but we made some contacts with the venture capital. And I went to almost all the venture capital companies that were existing there. You didn't get that kind of audience. They organized, I think, one with the data bank group. We met all of them. Nice things were said, and after that was it. And it's like you made projections. You had some small money. You know that bonus. I'm going to get money. Then I locked up my man, my small money in like a 42 acre land. When I could have probably started with like some two acres or something. So I think that hand holding aspect is very critical if we want to see us where you say you want us to be because without that there's a disjoint because at that time you have this romantic idea so I can make money my business plan has won a business plan competition I go here I'll get money and then you start with the frustrations and then it's so that part I think should be critical if not you are just left high and dry yeah you, and what then was you go it? look for a job so yeah my yeah, well, what you should do is, you see, the, 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 the lessons learned from the previous competitions, some people were able, I know of a business uh, plan competition guy in one of the editions, we were able to leverage almost $200,000 for the guy. Uh, and these were the contributors, Prince Amwabe, Ken Oforiata, uh, Tony Otins, Jesse, these guys put money together and invested in the business. You know, and so this issue, the talk of angels, they have been an, very angelic been. people who have been there. <laughs> Unfortunately, when these people put in the money in this business, the money, the money vanished. You know, oh, yeah, oh, it the, the money vanished. Oh. And then the, the people, the, the, the irony of it was that they called the guy and the guy's phone is off. Yeah. yeah. Hey. You know. So they, they have been, they, 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 they the, 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 the have been experienced on the other side. Yeah. Yes. But what will make this work, as I said, is that once, if you go to any financier and he knows a loop, you have a dedicated consultant. Because they, they don't pay money for a consultant. They want to pay money for the business. So once there is somebody who is holding your hand and teaching you, as you do this, do that, do that, they are comfortable, they'll put money in your business. There are a lot of people in town who have money. They don't know what... All they are looking for is ideas. 
It's money chasing ideas. It's no more ideas chasing money. Mm. You know. So you, you can get things like that, you know, on this uh, uh this um three three financial institutions have so far ever since we launched this uh, approach techno said wanting to set aside money to uh, uh, help a lot of uh, you who would uh, go through and who are very enterprising so that is what we we have to work and, and, and work for uh, private equity firms um, um, uh, banks and then uh, your, the impact investors, impact investors who are looking for all this and so let us take it very serious work around it make sure that we develop very good and bankable business plans and then we will see how this works.